Good afternoon everyone. In today's video we are going to be looking at the storms today and a new storm that's coming up very soon for later this week. This is going to bring some possible significant severe weather down in the south, snowfall up across Oklahoma going into Michigan and even an ice storm possible again for the Great Lakes region. Let's go ahead and get started on the severe weather side of things for today for the rest of the today anyways. We do have a slight risk for severe thunderstorms storms that will persist across portions of Ohio going into Kentucky a little bit there up eastern Indiana could see some severe storms rolling throughout the east bringing a threat for tornadoes you do have that five percent chance for tornadoes throughout today you have seen multiple tornado warnings even a few confirmed tornadoes today across that area we do have that risk also for 60 mile per hour winds and uh, no chance for hell, as you can see there. So main threat is tornadoes and wind for today. Starting out Wednesday, we do have a marginal risk in place here for a lot of the south here. I think this might be upgraded to a slight risk for severe thunderstorms. Uh, for Wednesday, as that is a very large marginal risk, there's a definitely a lot of space there to fit in a slight risk. So we'll have to watch Wednesday. But as we head into Thursday, as you can see, we already have another 30% chance for severe thunderstorms in place here across uh, eastern Texas. Going into southeastern Oklahoma, southern Arkansas, and then a uh, most of Mississippi, western Alabama, going into um, most of northern Louisiana as well. This is a very large risk in place here, and we do have some significant wording from the Storm Prediction Center. As you can see, they do say a regional outbreak of severe weather appears increasingly likely Thursday afternoon and Thursday night, including the potential for large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes some of which may be strong. So again, noting by the Storm Prediction Center, possibly a uh, regional tornado outbreak uh, could be possible this Thursday, just about three days from now. Uh, so definitely keep your eyes close on this. If you do live in the South, this is coming up close and this is just coming from uh, the Sunday, uh, yesterday's uh, tornado uh, derecho event uh, out of Oklahoma in Texas. Another significant severe weather event is expected for Thursday. Now, even going throughout day five for Friday, we have another chance for severe thunderstorms going throughout the southeast. This is a 15% chance for those severe thunderstorms. And from the Storm Prediction Center, they do say severe weather potential is expected to continue Friday across the southeast states, including Georgia, North Florida, and the Carolinas. Possibly as far north as parts of the Mid-Atlantic. Damaging winds and a few tornadoes could cross could occur across the region on Friday. We'll have to watch that risk as well. We will also have a chance for snow across portions of Oklahoma, where we just saw a, a lot of tornado reports come out yesterday. Potentially some snow at the end of the week for Oklahoma going to Missouri, going into portions of Iowa, Northern Illinois, and uh, Wisconsin there, even Michigan. We'll see some of the snowfall here, and this is going from Thursday into the week, and let's go ahead and time this out for you. As you can see, this low-pressure system comes out of New Mexico. This will be going throughout Oklahoma there. That's when that snow will really start in the panhandle of Texas, and then uh, this goes throughout 8, 9 p.m. of Thursday. Friday, 9 p.m. of Thursday. As we get to overnight hours of Thursday into Friday, you start to see that snowfall and heavy rain. Kind of a mix. So you are going to see some snowfall from this, but you're also going to see some rain as this is not going to be a bit, very big widespread snow event. But definitely some accumulating snow for some areas here just uh, to the northwest of this severe weather. Throughout the overnight hours of Thursday into Friday, uh, we are going to see that snowfall go throughout Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma. And then we head into those morning hours, so 9 a.m. of Friday. This starts ahead throughout most of Missouri, uh, more than northern half, uh, and then going to Iowa, southern Wisconsin. And uh, you're starting to see kind of a curvature with this snowfall and a similar track uh, to that one storm, that one ice storm that was earlier this month, kind of in the middle of this month. Uh, and as you can see, potential ice storm threat again uh, as we head into early March. So this is going to be March 3rd, another ice storm threat for those Great Lakes region. And that goes throughout the Northeast as well. Another ice storm threat for the Northeast, a lot of snowfall 
expected for the northeast as well we'll be looking more that severe than just a second definitely quite a big storm to uh start off march uh, with uh, some possible significant severe weather ice storm threat and even a, a little area of snowfall that will go up from the south all the way up there into the great lakes total snowfall so far this will change as this is a little far away uh, as we head into the weekend here it is just monday so this these snowfall uh, amounts will change over time uh, and I will keep you updated with uh, more uploads this week. Um, as you can see, potentially this will be mixed. So I think uh, most of these areas will see localized six inches of snowfall. Uh, it depends on, of course, how much of mix of rain and snow uh, will come across these areas. Uh, some of these areas might see more snow than rain or more rain than snow. So it's going to be hard to forecast those snow amounts across these areas. Uh, but generally, if you do see more snow than rain, you are going to see uh, possibly up to 10 inches of snowfall in some spots here in Missouri, Oklahoma, going even into Iowa, Wisconsin. But if you see more rain and then snow, you're probably going to see less than three inches of snowfall due to the uh rain just melting that snowfall as it falls however it will keep you updated as, as these models do update total freezing rain that we are going to see uh freezing rain right now actually going on in portions of wisconsin going to michigan and even into the northeast here could see some ice as well uh, that could cause those power outages damages power lines the trees and stuff like that now, as we head here throughout this next storm, it's going to be headed up here a little more south uh, than the current ice storm. But again, more ice expected here throughout Iowa, northern Illinois here. More of Michigan, uh, that Detroit area, once again, seeing some of the ice. Uh, and then we do see some more widespread ice here in the mid-Atlantic northeast states. So again, uh, that will change, uh, but this area needs to look out for, once again, another ice storm. Not as big as uh, the last one, uh, but definitely that threat is there for accumulating ice this upcoming weekend. Since the severe weather outbreak is a little far out still, uh, it, is third, it is currently Monday. As I'm filming this, uh, this will be posted in the early afternoon of Monday. So things will change from here. Um, and as we head closer to Thursday, we'll, we will get more model products so we can actually make a forecast of what are the main threats for this severe event. But right now, as you can see, this is a super soft composite surface based from the GFS model. As you can see, we're seeing uh, values upwards of 14 to 15, uh, which is pretty decent for supercells. Not entirely sure if this will be a linear event or not. Based on this cold front here, as you can see right there, that will be pushing these storms uh, to the east, uh, which could lead to a linear event. As we head into the late evening hours, this looks to be a late evening event rather than early afternoon. Um, but over here in Texas, maybe some supercells, supercells popping off of this cold front uh, could lead to that early tornado threat. And then as we head later into the evening, we will see more of a linear event, I do assume, for portions of Mississippi going to Tennessee. That's where we might also see a QLCS late night tornado threat uh, throughout that line of storms and uh, that line of storms uh, will be moving into the southeast for that uh, another threat there uh, for Friday. Here's the bulk shear from 500 millibars up and as you can see we're already seeing values of 130 knots so some very strong shear up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Uh, this is not right at the surface but uh, still some very strong shear uh, in the upper atmosphere here and that will lead to a big supercellular tornado threat here at the edge of this cold front going to Arkansas, northern Louisiana, eastern Texas. We'll see that main tornado threat I do believe here going uh, throughout Thursday as you can see that really starts to pop off as you around 9 p.m. of Thursday. Lots of shear that's ahead of this cold front here that will uh, be fueling those supercells 
uh, for that potential tornado threat. We'll keep you updated with these updating models. They update multiple times a day and we will get more uh, high resolution models as we head here into midweek. I will have probably have an upload out tomorrow and Wednesday as well. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you are for your new internal post notifications. You won't miss a single upload or live stream on this channel. Share this video with any friends or family that may uh, be impacted by this storm, this early March storm. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.